Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex. And I unlocked Yelena's potential tonight and I, I maxed her out and it cost me like 30 million gold, but she is an absolute beast. And I think you're going to be really excited and happy and hype to see how powerful she is because she is, she is swinging with the native tier twos and the tier threes. She's swinging with Silver Surfer. And actually, somebody pointed this out on Twitch, Flowery. She has the same base stats. You see those orange skills there? She has the same base stats on her gear as Silver Surfer. Double all defense, double HP, and then skill cooldown ignore defense. So she has premium stats, and that is sort of the first step in a character that it just screams overpowered and possibly Omega tier. That's right, I said it. A paywall character, Omega tier. Yeah, this is a far, far cry from Baron Zemo. So let's talk about the build. It cost me like 30 or 35 million gold. It really busted the bank. I got screwed on her potential, uh, in enhancing her potential from level 66 to 70. But let's talk about it. I fully awakened all of her Uru. I went, you know, balls to the walls, gave her three heal uh, Odin's blessings, along with a bunch of five star dodge and HP to get her HP up to 45,900. I'm trying to get the HP as high as possible, just in case she needs to survive a hit. And then I wanted to bump up the physical attack as much as possible. I also think that attack speed is really important for her. So right now we are relying on Wasp's leadership uh, with that 6% all speed to cap out her attack speed. But just keep that in mind. We got the skills maxed. We've got a stage four type enhancement. I would like to get that higher, but you know, it's four for now. Power of Angry Hulk, CTP of Destruction. Now I'm going to show you guys some gameplay and then I'm going to talk about why this may not be necessary, kind of like Black Widow. And then the, the craziest piece is this is rare. So we're still missing the third slot to give us an extra 2000 base HP, which is crazy. It could push us close to 50,000. Then we're missing another, you know, 1700 dodge, which could cap out her dodge at 75%. And then the last one for more physical attack, which could push us to maybe like 34,000. So she still has room to grow and I'm already ranked 25. So that is insane. Now, this is the team up here. I don't know if you necessarily need a debuff. I think you do need someone in the leadership slot who has guard break immunity and who can survive long enough to set up the combo. And I'm going to show you how the combo works. It's fairly straightforward. I'm going to show you against Jean Grey's because that is what you guys, you know, are used to seeing and used to fighting and and wanting to see someone crush. But we will fight a we will fight a bunch of different teams. She's not perfect. She's not, you know, the the be all and end all, but she's very very good. So the reason why you want someone with guard break is you want someone to be able to put some distance between you and Jean Grey at the beginning because you need to stall a little bit for Yelena to come out uh, so that you can pop smoke. Okay, pop smoke. Uh, well, after you pop smoke, the it's, the game's basically over. The fight's basically over because all you're going to do is you're going to pop smoke uh, and then you're going to use five. Pop smoke, four, and then five. And by the time you uh, get out of the iframe there, you can just pop smoke again and then you can do that again and you can go back and just do it again. And yeah. That's, that's the whole strategy. And now you're still in smoke. You're still in smoke here. Oh, okay. We, had, we made a little bit of a mistake. A little bit of an error here. Tiny, tiny error. But uh, yeah. Pop smoke. Four, five. Boom. Now he's going to come in. We still have three seconds left. Going to pop smoke again. Boom. So it's I'm a little bit rusty on the rotation, as you can see. Uh, I think I'm using five a little bit early, but it's really, really powerful. Uh, the smoke and then and, and then the combo works really well. OK, and I'm going to try it now against this team here. Uh, but you need to survive first. You basically survive for enough. You, you survive. I, I think you have to stall for like five or six seconds until Yelena has her smoke up uh, and either you can actually you know what you can do this and then you can pop smoke right away. And then you can do four and five. You can actually do this for even more damage. Bada bing, bada boom. And this is the combo. And look at this. Jean Grey does nothing. She doesn't even attack you. And we do this and we do this. And she's gone. And then Thanos comes in and he's like, where are you? And then you, oh, 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 oh. A little bit of a problem there. Pop smoke. Five. Okay, he's dead. Gotta kill him. Boom, okay. We made a little bit of an error with Thanos. Thanos going to be a little bit dicey at times. You ideally want to have the smoke up with two or three seconds left when you kill someone. So I'm still practicing. I'm still getting the hang of it. But you can see how insanely powerful this is. This is just really strong. 
and it works. It just works. Okay, maybe you know you have the type advantage against Jean. She needs she needs to get Colossus on the team to to make her tank here. Sure. Okay, let's try this team. Definitely. So we're, gonna, we're just gonna stall. We just want to make some distance. We want to. There we go. Make some distance so we can pop smoke. Drop the four. Drop the one. Drop the five. Goodbye, Jean Grey. Easy. Easy cakes. Look at this. Drop the three. She does nothing. She stands there. Drop the four. Boom, boom. Goodbye. Oh, pop him out of his iframe. Nice. Pop the five. Pop smoke again. One. Five. Pop smoke again. And now here's the crazy thing. Here's the crazy thing. Yelena could be getting an awakened skill. Imagine she has an awakened skill, guys. Ah, we, we took some damage there. Boom. Imagine she gets an awakened skill. Okay, here you can actually kill Colossus. Check this out. We can actually kill him. We're only going to use five and three. We're not going to do anything else. Look at this. I can beat physical reflect now. You can beat physical reflect now. How busted. How dope is this? You you just got to work the combo. Okay. Of course. Let, okay. Let's just recap because you're probably you're picking your jaw off the floor off of the floor now. And you're like, okay, Cynic Alex, what's going on? Teach me. Teach me. Okay. Explain. So here, here's what you need. Of course, you're going to need, you know, 50% ignore defense and cooldown. The cooldown is so you can do the strategy. You can do the rotation. The ignore defense is so you can do enough damage. You're also going to need fairly high physical attack stat, and you're going to need max attack speed to get through the animations on five, because the five has a long animation. And then you can splash in the four and two and one to do extra damage in between. But three and five are really the combo. Three has the smoke, which gives you seven seconds of invisibility. Seven seconds. That's insane. Five is almost a full iframe. It's got accumulation, which is really nice. Now, the thing with five is there is a small gap in the iframe. So if you if you get cute with smoke and you wait until the, until there's one or two seconds left and then do five, you will get interrupted mid iframe. They purposely put a gap in the iframe so that this is not completely overpowered. So there is a weakness here. So you do need to leave about three seconds left on the smoke into five um, and then you go right back into three. And you can see it's a 15 second cooldown. So you do need to stall for seven and a half seconds Now you have seven seconds of smoke. So you really only need to add a half second before the next smoke. Yeah, it's just, that's how it is. So you, the basic combo is sort of like Sabretooth. It's three, something, 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 five, three. Always five, three, never, never three, five. You don't want to do it that way. So that's basically the combo and it works tremendously well. And the thing is, because she's barely getting hit, as you saw, do you need do you really need a CTP of destruction? as far as the guard break immunity goes. I don't know. Maybe you could do it with a CTP of rage. Maybe you could do it with a CTP of energy. You could certainly do it with a CTP of greed if you have enough damage. The only thing that you're missing from the, the destruction is the penetration. Now, my penetration is actually only 25%. Um, I actually would be curious to see if I could reroll this to 30 and if it would actually make a difference on this bad boy. Let's see now if we can reroll this quickly and uh, and get a better option here. Uh, we got another, no, we got another 25% chance. Let's see here, 25% chance. We're looking for 30%. 10%. It's a lot faster to reroll now. Uh, as long as you lock all the ones that you uh, don't want to use. 10%. Oh, no. 10%. 10% 44.7 though, wow. 10% again. Okay, we're getting pretty unlucky here. 10% again. We're getting high crit damage low um low penetration and the thing is that the, the proc the proc percentage is also linked to the penetration so i know that if i get 30 i'll get a 200 percent proc uh we're gonna have to probably settle for this 25 here we don't have many rolls left another 25 oh man they don't want to give it to us eh? a 20. why did i start doing this now i just wanted to be perfect to be honest with you guys 45 a 45 and 10. Oh, there we go, 30. So we lost some crit damage. We actually lost quite a bit. We lost about 12% crit damage. I don't think that's actually worth it, to be honest with you. But we did get up to a, a perfect 30% uh, proc with the penetration. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to show you guys against a different team here. Uh, we can try against this Red Guardian team. 
the, the the thing is that she's not perfect she's amazing against the characters that i showed you like thanos and Jean Grey and others she can completely lock them down she's obviously going to have a huge weakness against other characters who have iframe ignore as well so silver surfer captain marvel to a lesser extent you know well other yelena's of course to a lesser extent winter soldier and old cyclops those characters could give her some trouble because of the fact that they can you know interrupt her whole combo so that is definitely something to take into consideration oh what the hell all right i got a little bit greedy there i was trying not to use her third skill but i guess red guardian is better than i thought i got to take him a little bit more seriously um but let's just pop smoke and get this over with he's not gonna last very long once you put the combo on him okay so here's here's the thing you're going to you're gonna struggle against silver surfer you basically have to bait out his third skill this one right here and then you need to pop smoke after it and then try to kill him in the time in this time frame this you got a pretty small window before his third skill comes up again so it's pretty tough and um on top of it being pretty tough you also have reflect to deal with so you can kill yourself accidentally to reflect um but if it works it works so boom you can still do it she's very very strong but you definitely have a much more difficult time against the silver surfer against the captain marvel but she's so strong guys she's so good you got to see this like this is wild i'll take on other people in vibranium i don't know if she can kill a uh, uh an apocalypse because she has the type disadvantage she did kill a colossus maybe she can kill a wolverine i don't know but let's try this one team uh this team one more time like what let's try one more team one more time and then we will see here okay so we did bait this attack okay yeah okay all right that's, that's not too bad that's not too bad the other thing is she doesn't heal so if you take damage yeah like if silver surfer does that you take damage you're just gonna get chipped down and you can only stall for so long mm, okay he popped his immunity i think he's dead now okay so two seconds left pop smoke nice three two one pop smoke oh what happened we didn't get our smoke okay we did five too early pop smoke we're a little we're in, we're in a little bit of trouble here there we go pop smoke oh i didn't pop smoke something's going on i'm getting interrupted i don't know ah, i think i'm getting interrupted i can't kill him though wow Oh. We're not getting any penetration. This is why I don't this is why I don't like the CTP of destruction. Cuz we're not getting any penetration. Come on. This is so annoying. Oh. <gasps> yes, we killed him. No, 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 don't die, baby. No. <laughs> Colossus. Colossus. No. Every time, boys. Every single time. So, yeah, it's it's so funny, man. She she did kill that apocalypse though. You guys can see how strong she is. She's insane. But okay, here's the kicker. It's a long video, I know. But here's the kicker, guys. I said she was Omega tier. All right, let, let me put my money where my mouth is. Let's go and take her into some PVE action. Because I said she was Omega tier, so she's going to have to be Omega tier. Proxima, the character that I, I test every single character on. I know it's, it's a hard life for Proxima. Here's the thing. If Elena wasn't strong enough already, if I, if I hadn't already sold you on this character... Her fifth skill, Shadow Assassination, on top of all of these effects, has a hidden all defense down. I believe it's minus 50%. So check this out. Go down to a stage 55. We're going to go with this team right here with Nick Fury and Valkyrie. we got a CTP of Insight. We're not going to use any strikers. So we are using double support, but no strikers. Keep in mind, it's a CTP of Destruction with a rare uniform with a PvP build. I don't have capped crit rate, although she gives herself a 30% crit rate buff, and I have 165 crit damage. So this is not a PvE build, okay? Check this out. 
Uh, and actually, you know what? Do me a favor. Watch what Proxima does. Actually, I kind of goofed up the rotation already. But watch what Proxima does. All right. So Proxima attacked me. Now, now watch Proxima. All right. Let me let me let me not screw up this rotation. So you want to proc on four cancel five, and then you want to pop smoke. And I'll you know I want to remind you guys that uh, I don't have mind control strikers. But uh, do you guys see Proxima moving? Because I don't. Like how busted is this? Not only is the damage good, and I'm and I'm messing up the rotation, right? Not only is the damage good, but Proxima's not moving, guys. Why is she not moving? Because she can't. Because she literally can't see Elena. Elena is the is the perfect spy. Okay, let me, let me fix this rotation here. So you do four cancel five for the proc, and this would be really nice with the CTP of energy. You do the smoke. She can't see you, so all of her attacks stop. You do four cancel five for the proc. You pop the smoke. It's a tight rotation for sure. But it's pretty straightforward. You do four, cancel five. And then as soon as you start doing five, you start tapping into one. Once you see the smoke, you do one. Or start tapping into three, sorry. Once you see the smoke, you do one. Tap into four, tap into five. As soon as you can pop smoke, pop it. You don't, you don't, even, need, you don't even need my control strikers, guys. Look at this. This is, this is incredible. This is insane. This is audacious. Audacious. Spurluncious. Spurluncious. I don't even have words for this. This is crazy. Look at this. She's not moving. She's not moving. I, uh, <laughs> like, what? Fam. Didn't you... Didn't the Netmarble devs say they didn't want the bosses not to move? Didn't they say they wanted us to experience the world boss attacks? So why did they make this? <laughs> like, this is so busted. They have to know how busted this is. Even her first skill does amazing damage when you proc on it. That was the proc with the first skill. So you can even proc on one instead of five. She's so strong, it's insane. So yeah. If you don't have Yelena, you gotta get the uniform, of course. If you don't have Yelena, maybe you should consider getting her because she is super fun to play and she's, she's so unique. Right? She freezes enemies in their tracks with stealth. It's really cool. Some people are not going to like it because maybe it's not thematic, right? You got this You got this little tiny 100-pound blonde spy killing Thanos and stuff. I don't really care. I just like it. It's new. It's a different way of playing. It still requires you to use your, your head and strategize, and you have to have very good timing, and you have to have a specific build, but the payoff is enormous. And to, to have Thanos just stand there like, where is she? Where is she? To have Jean Grey just paralyzed without being paralyzed or to paralyze the bosses is hilarious. And you know what? The invisibility should work against Thanos as well. So she may not have the damage to do high level Thanos, but even when he gets to the debuff phase, she'll be able to freeze him and he won't move, which is hilarious. And I'll save that for another video because that's just that's just too much, too much glory for one video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think of Yelena. Is she the next Omega tier character in Marvel Future Fight? Who knows? Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.